Hello friends, this video on P block part 41 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The next trend we'll discuss is the ionization enthalpy. See ionization enthalpy is what? Amount of energy required to pluck an electron, right? That will ionize it. You'll get a, a plus charge. But these uh, group 17 elements, these are group 17 elements, as I told, their electronic configuration is NS2, NP5. The outermost electron, uh, outermost shell has 5 plus 2, 7 electron. They need only one electron to attain what? Noble gas configuration. And everybody want to attain stability. We have told that stability in life. Noble gases are stable. So these elements, they want only one electron, only one electron to attain noble gas configuration. Now they are almost very near to attaining the noble gas state. They will not give electrons so easily. But if you take, if you take example of sodium, sodium has one extra electron. So if, you, if sodium gives one electron, sodium can easily attain electron the noble gas configuration. So for sodium it is okay to give electron because for sodium it is a win-win situation. You give electron and you become noble. But for chlorine or fluorine or any of these uh, halogen uh, elements, they need only one electron. So for them, they will easily take one electron because the moment they take one electron, they can become stable. But they will not like to give electron because if they give one electron, then they need two electrons to be stable. That is harder to achieve. So they would not like to give electron. That means they would not like to lose electron. Thus, the ionization energy is very high. You see the value of ionization energy. It's 1680 kilojoule per mole. It's, it's a very high value. And the ionization energy decreased on the group. Why? Because fluorine is small in size. This fluorine has has a good control on this electron, this fluorine nucleus has a good control on this electron, it will not let this electron to go. Thus, a very high energy is required to plug this electron, but if you talk about iodine, since it is bigger in size, this iodine nucleus doesn't have much control over this electron on the outermost shell, so iodine, it is little easy to plug this electron out compared to the fluorine case. So in iodine, the ionization energy will be little less and if you see all the values are positive that means the energy is required to plug electron correct why it is required because yeah this chlorine and this halogen family they have seven electrons they don't want to lose electron because now they need only one electron to attain the noble gas configuration if they lose one electron then they need two electrons to attain the noble gas configuration and then they don't want to do that correct so that's why they have very high ionization enthalpy. The second is why does the ionization enthalpy value decrease down the groove because if we go down the groove the size of the atom increase in the case of fluorine, fluorine nucleus has a very strong hold on this electron it won't let this electron go easily. So you need high energy to plug this electron. In case of iodine since the size is big this nucleus doesn't have much control on this electron and you can easily plug this electron out compared to the fluorine case and thus it has a little lesser ionization enthalpy. Let's see the trends in the electronegativity. Electronegativity is what? It is the tendency of a atom to attract other electron towards itself. Okay. And as we know that the group 17 elements their electronic configuration is ns2 np5 and they need only one electron to be stable to be stable now since they need only one electron to be stable they'll have tendency to attract the nearby electrons and thus they will have high value of electronegativity and the fact is that fluorine has the highest value of electronegativity in the entire periodic table not only in this group in the entire periodic table it has 
the maximum value of electronegativity and that is 4. Please note, fluorine has the highest value of electronegativity in the entire periodic table. So, four, fluorine is the most electronegative element found till now. And why they are, this halogen families have high electronegativity? Because these halogen family elements, they need only one electron to be stable. And thus, they have tendency to attract one electron from the nearby atoms. And thus, they are electronegative. The electronegativity values goes down uh, the value goes down as we go down the group. If you see it is 4, then it becomes 3.2, then 3, 2.7, and then 2.2. Why? Just guess, think, why? Why Why the value of electronegativity is decreasing as we go down the group? Think something from the atomic size perspective. You'll get the answer. Correct. You're thinking the correct uh, line. The moment you go down the group, the atomic size increase. Atomic size increase this nucleus because this is the nucleus which is positively charged and this nucleus actually attracts electron so the size increase since the size increase the nucleus is not able to attract external electron this, this nucleus is not able to attract external electrons so easily For example in this case of iodine this is iodine this nucleus will not be able to attract the external electron because you see there are so many electrons here shielding effect plus the distance increase a lot of factors so that this nucleus is not able to attract electrons so easily and thus the electronegativity that is the tendency to attract electron electronegativity is nothing but tendency to attract electrons so this tendency to attract electron decrease as we go down the the next trend we'll discuss is the electron gain enthalpy. What is this? Electron gain enthalpy is nothing but the amount of energy released or required to gain an electron. And in this case, we have told you that fluorine, I um, mean this group 17, the electronic configuration is NS2 and P5. That means they need only one electron to be stable. Right now, they will happily accept one electron. In fact, they'll release energy to get electron. Why? Because they'll become stable. They'll get, they'll attain the noble gas state. And thus, if you see the electron gain enthalpy in all these cases, negative values. That means the energy is released. The energy is released when you get one electron. And please note. It has the maximum, a very, very high value of electron gain enthalpy. For a given period, it has a maximum value of electron gain enthalpy because in a given period, group 17 elements are the only one that needs only one electron to attain the noble gas configuration. For example, if you talk about one group, let's take this group. Lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon. Neon is stable anyway. It has a stable gas configuration. Oxygen needs two electron to be stable. Nitrogen needs three electron to be stable. Carbon needs four electron to be stable. Boron has three extra electron. Beryllium has two extra electron. Lithium has one extra electron. Right? Fluorine needs only one extra electron to be stable. So fluorine needs only one electron to be stable. That means it will take one electron and emit energy. Thus, the ionized or electron gain enthalpy is negative value. But if you talk about lithium, the electron gain enthalpy may not be negative. Why? Because lithium doesn't need an electron. For lithium, actually the ionization energy will be negative. Because if it loses electron, it becomes stable. So think everything from the stability perspective. Everybody wants to be stable. Everybody wants to attain the noble gas configuration. For neon, if you want uh, to lose a gain, take a if you, neon, for example, if you talk about the electron gain enthalpy, it will be highly positive because neon is already stable. If you try to give an electron to neon, it won't accept easily because it is it will lose its stability. Thus, you may have to provide extra energy to give an electron to 
neon but to give an electron to fluorine is very easy fluorine is in, fluorine is badly looking for electron right and thus the electron gain enthalpy is negative for all the elements in the group 17 okay and they have maximum negative value of electron gain enthalpy they just need one electron to attain the noble gas configuration okay and now this electron gain enthalpy the value if you see is decreasing down the group okay but in this case it has it is less value but from here from chlorine it is decreasing down the group you see just ignore the fluorine case we'll discuss the fluorine case later from chlorine bromine iodine the value is decreasing down the group why see again the same thing the size chlorine bromine and iodine iodine will not be able to attract electrons so easily but we talk about the chlorines the science is slow chlorine will be able to attract electron easily so chlorine will emit more energy so chlorine will emit 349 kilojoule of energy iodine will not be able to attract electrons so easily but still it needs one electron to attain stability so it will emit 296 kilojoule per mole of energy so thus if you see the value of the electron gain enthalpy actually decreases down the group now let's talk about the fluorine why the value is less why the fluorine size is less but still the electron gain enthalpy is less that is because of inter electronic repulsion see this fluorine size is very small fluorine 1s2 2s2 2p5 this is fluorine so if we talk about the fluorine this is my nucleus this is 1s2 then you have one more 2s2 and then here it's supposed to be 5 orbital 1 2 3 4 5 5 electrons here since the size is small they have inter electronic repulsion the size is very small there's a huge repulsion going on here itself right because the p orbital is very small and it has 5 electrons and thus it doesn't entertain the incoming electrons so easily there is a repulsion here itself there is a space crunch it is like an overcrowded family the family is already overcrowded they don't want to entertain a new people even if the new people will bring stability to their life think from that perspective so it's very small in size very very small in size and it's ultra small size of fluorine actually gives a special behavior to fluorine right it will it, it has very high electronegativity but it will not i mean um, entertain electrons the moment electron comes here it will be repelled because of the inter electronic inter electronic repulsions in my 2p orbital small size of 2p orbital thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get free study materials find tutors and mentors and much more Thanks once again.